Let's look at the tiny case of the spiny water flea, an almost microscopic creature now found in the Great Lakes region. The spiny water flea is a very small, non-native species that first appeared in the lower Great Lakes in the early 1980s, hitchhiking their way into the Great Lakes from Europe in the ballast water of foreign freighters. They were first discovered in Lake Ontario in 1982, but within five years had spread to all the lakes because they were hitchhiking on boats and other fishing equipment. They are extremely tiny. This is how they look under a microscope. You can see their eye and that long spiny tail. About the size of a dandelion seed that blows in the wind, the microscopic water flea has that uniquely extended tail that makes it difficult for fish to digest. When a fish attempts to eat the small creature, it's actually a crustacean, not an insect, the fish begin to choke and puke out the organism because of that spiny tail. It would be like us eating jelly on toothpicks. Do you eat jelly on toothpicks? This is a fishing line with probably a hundred of them. The black dots are their eyes and you can see their bristly tails. When I spoke at a school in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, I met a teacher who said he was new to the area and when he went fishing in Lake Superior for the first time, his fishing line had only been in the water for a few minutes when he saw that it was covered with this gooey, sticky mess. He was freaked out. He had no idea what they were. Only later did he learn they were spiny water fleas. Gobs of spiny water fleas will collect on fishing lines like glue, so you have to squeeze the line with your fingers to remove them. Yick! Another angler said he catches bass and sometimes they spit out this ghoulish goo. Spiny water fleas. Researchers discovered one perch with more than 1,400 spiny water fleas in its stomach. I have a jar here with about 20 spiny water fleas. Here's a photo of a vial with about six. The hand belongs to Jake Vanderzen of the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where his lab is well acquainted with spiny water fleas. Jake plays the part of the mad scientist in my second book, Super Youper, The Quest of the Blue Crew. Holy zooplankton, they're here, was his response at the discovery of these bristly gobs of jelly with black spots. Spiny water fleas are so abundant in Madison's Lake Mendota that scientists estimate they could eat the amount of biomass equal to the entire human population of the city. In other words, this tiny zooplankton could eat as much as the weight of 240,000 people in just seven years. They think there are roughly one million tiny water fleas for every one perch in the lake. Now, you might never suspect that a microscopic beast could cause so much damage to the ecosystem, but they compete with fish by gobbling other zooplankton, the main food supply for many small fish. They destroy the bottom of the food chain because they eat the microorganisms that minnows need to survive, not to mention loons, turtles, and other wildlife. While it's hard to imagine that a tiny speck in the water could be so much trouble, spiny water fleas reproduce and grow by the millions. And think about this, an average spiny water flea eats roughly 80% of its body weight per day. By comparison, a perch eats just 3% of its body weight per day. If you ate like a perch, you would eat a whopping 5 pounds of food per day. But if you ate like a spiny water flea, you would be eating over 100 pounds of food per day. Talk about a stomach ache. Once again, spiny water fleas show that little things can be big problems. When boating in different lakes, it's critical to clean, drain, and dry your boat, ensuring you never move invasive species. I hope you've liked what I've shared. Please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.